Always use protection. What's up, socials? Happy Social Thursday. You know, one of my favorite things to do is search Twitter because I am a gigantic stalker. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a tutorial. Yes, that's right, a tutorial. You guys love it when I go over to the little computer and do my some computing. That's what we're doing. This is going to be how we can take advantage of Twitter search to find people who are talking about things we care about locally. Yes, this is all about using Twitter for local search, especially great for people with brick and mortars trying to find people that could be potential customers to stroll into their place of business. We have to find them geographically. So that's what we're going to do today because I love Twitter. So any advice I can continue to give on the platform makes me happy. Let's go to the computer. Shall we? I just love Twitter. You guys know how much I love Twitter. Just looking at it makes me excited. But one of my favorite things, like I said, was to search. And so it's really cool when you can actually find out who's near you talking about things you care about. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're just going to use the search bar like we would in any situation. And you can even go to the actual search page in case you wanted to use advanced search. This will actually make it a little bit easier for you guys, um, but sometimes I like to do it just by typing the information in the search bar because then I know that I can pretty much do it anywhere. But this is a good way to figure out how the formula is actually made. And we've definitely talked about this before Twitter search overall, but I really wanted to focus on the local side of things. Um, one thing that I'm really interested in right now is South by Southwest is going on. so. That is something, actually, I can actually put that in the hashtag section. Not that it really matters, but we'll just put it there. And I want to know if anybody in my town is talking about it, just so we can kind of relate to it. And maybe it's somebody that I can catch up with, grab coffee, and they're interested in sort of the same things. So following news at South by Southwest with somebody that's in Columbus, Ohio. So we'll run that search. And you can see top tweets here. I like to switch it over here to all just to see what the actual chronological order is. Um, you can see some bad news coming out of South by Southwest this morning, actually. Um, but you can see a couple of people in my town talking about the event. And I can reach out to them and make comments with them about oh yeah I saw that too how crazy and and maybe they'll see my content and we can become friends and follow each other and really kind of grow our own online relationship from there possible people that would subscribe to my blog or just want to send me business in the long run um, another thing to note here is you'll notice that the keywords are coming before the actual location-based information so we can really change this to anything like if I wanted to go somewhere for breakfast what people are talking about in my city and you'll also notice when I put in Columbus Ohio it automatically gave these parameters of how far away so right now it's set to a 15 mile radius so we can change this to maybe five and that way I know, because I live car free, it's actually a possibility that somebody might be talking about a cool breakfast place close by. Of course, a lot of people are probably talking about their breakfast at home, so you're going to have to sort through that. But it really helps you kind of see Sunny Street Cafe is right down the street. So that's uh, one example of a mention. So Dunkin' Donuts is also down the street. So just a really good example of how you can be taking advantage of location. Um, these keywords here are near, colon, and, a, and definitely some quotations for where your location is. If you were actually more interested in another place, you could do that as well. Well, there you have it. Get your stock on and get those awesome local customers into your little shops because they want to know you care. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. As always, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I will be back next week with three more videos because this is what I'll be doing the rest of my life. So you might as well be here for it. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to my newsletter. The link's in the annotation below and lots of other places. If you can't figure out how to use annotations, that's fine. And tweet with me, at Fantastic and at Savvy Sexy Social. I'll see you next week.